Okay. She can cross the ocean and reach Italy in, let's be even more generous, six days. Okay. Now, they're like, okay, the Vulture are going to come after us. So we go get allies. <clears throat> but what is taking the Volturi so long? Okay? Why the... F- what are they waiting for? Because yeah. these guys literally go cross-country several times. Like, they go... They go to other states. They go to South America. They go to fucking Brazil. They go to Ireland. And they, they go to Ireland. Ireland. Mm-hmm. And they pick up all the stereotypes they can find. They pick up every national stereotype. Yeah, exactly. They pick up... Oh, my God, the stereotypes in this oh, movie. My because, like, I was waiting God. for, like... These, Oh, like like the village people to be there with red eyes. They you know? did. The but village like, yeah. people did show the Russian dude, dudes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. The Russian dudes. Dude. Go ahead, dude. Dude, I asked Sarah because I, mean, I I haven't read the books, but she has. I asked Sarah like, when you read the book, and it uh, and it says like two characters show up at the end who are Native American. Yes. Were you picturing just? <laughs> Dressed in, like, I don't know, a jacket, yeah. pants, whatever. Or were you picturing Squanto and Pocahontas? These dudes, <laughs> these dudes dress up. You know what? I'm not even going to say no joke anymore. Assume what I'm saying from now on is not a joke, unless it involves Michael Sheen. <laughs> I, I swear to you, everything I say in this review is true. These guys show up in a loincloth. And like beads in hair, their hair, and like fucking feathers, mm-hmm. like carrying a face sp- paint, face paint yeah. carrying a spear. Yep. They might as well have had like Mel Brooks in a fucking like chieftain's headdress. <laughs> they were painted orange. They looked yes. like an Indian and Snoopy. Yes. <laughs> and that's not the end of the stereotypes. Like, like it's so racist. Yeah. Like, I thought George Lucas, or I thought, like, fucking Michael Bay was racist with, like, the, the black dude who eats donuts. But, like, <laughs> but like here's the stereotypes that show up. The Irish guys. Mm-hmm. Can you guess what they're dressed like? They're dressed in, like, tam shanter hats. The only way you could get more generic is if they had, like, a four-leaf clover, like, on their... <laughs> and, like, they're, they're like... They, they all have red hair, of course. If they were, like, they were throwing... They red-headed. Yeah, the redhead, and the, like if they were throwing Lucky Charms. Because everybody name. in Ireland has red hair, of and course. they wear those hats. Yeah, they wear those typically Irish course, hats. Yeah. 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 What's funny is the Russian dudes were not stereotypical. They were just weird. They were strange. They looked like they were like like they, weird like European fashion models. Yeah, they looked like fucking. They were like theater. Yeah, they were like theater yeah. yeah, like 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 from Saturday Night Live. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they. What I thought they looked like was, of course, my brain was wired this way, but I thought they looked like Harkonnens from Doom. (laughs) (laughs) They they were like, they were covered head to toe in black leather Mm -hmm. with like all sorts of straps all back and forth. Mm -hmm. And like, it looked like they were fucking like S&M dudes from a European dance club. Like they're going to shit on somebody. (laughs) And then there were Brazilians and these guys took the fucking cake. These guys, what they looked like? They looked like the the blue dudes from Avatar if they weren't blue. Yeah, yeah, they did. They like, yeah. They had like braided hair down to their ankles, and they had fucking face paint and like leather loincloths. Yeah, leather loincloths and bikinis. And yeah, like going... they were. You, they looked. They might as well have been like twelve feet tall and like the Amazon women from Futurama. I, I mean, gonna, like yeah. It was everything but like a giant like hoop through their nose. Or yeah, the, I was waiting for a bone through somebody's three. nose, but it didn't happen. Yeah, if they got some, yeah, yeah. If they got somebody from Africa, they would have those like big neck things where they like to extend their necks and <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, exactly. Yeah. If you think I'm and, kidding, God help you, because I'm not. And again, I I asked. I was like, is that how it's described in the book. It's like, is that what you pictured in when you read these characters from the book? Please tell me it, it is. Back. Please tell me it is. Is that how they were? Oh, me? Oh, yeah. uh, she, she, she said, like, she goes, I don't think so. She was mm-hmm. like, it's been a while since I read it. But she was like, I certainly didn't picture anyone from, like, an old, like, Jungle Cheeks cartoon. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so, but here's the thing is, that like, okay, not only are they completely offensive stereotypes, that's enough of a pill to swallow. Mm -hmm. What are the stereotypes? Were there, were there any? Were there any other stereotypes? Uh, the the people from like Egypt or Morocco or whatever. Oh whatever. yeah, yeah, the, the the Middle Eastern guys, mm -hmm. who one of them is the last oh. fucking Airbender. Yeah, he was the fucking Airbender. Because he could control yeah, yeah. the elements. Yeah. Which, by the way, makes no sense because the guy we see the guy like set his hand on fire so he could light a campfire when fire is like one of their only weaknesses. But it's magic. You don't have to explain it. Like, no, seriously. Like in the movie, fire fucking kills them instantly. Like, they like instantly burst into flames. Like they're made of lighter fluid. And, and oily rags. But this guy's I like was watching it, thinking like they all have Sonic the Hedgehog powers. Oh my! They one got electricity. That one's got a shield. One does fire. Yeah. One does the thing with the water. The only yeah. one that was missing was, like, there's one that doesn't have rings fly towards them. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is the other one? The, what's funny is they forget about, they, they establish all these powers that they have, and then they yeah. conveniently forget about all of them. And this is the weakness that comes through the plot when you have a character that can see everything that happens in the future. Uh-huh. Why does, why does she leave? Why doesn't she just stay mm -hmm. and tell them where the Vulturi are going to be or, like, what to do when they come or have some kind of, like, why doesn't she just tell them exactly where they're going to be at all times? Like, why doesn't she just tell them how it's going to, like, the best possible outcome and how to do that? Why does she have to be all fucking mysterious? And plus, leave? plus, why do you need to write, like, secretive notes with, like, the Shakespeare book? They have phones. Yeah. They pick up call a fucking her. phone, call Bella and said... Hey, BT Dubs, yeah, you see know what's this, going down. See this Jay Jenks guy? He's got passports. Why do you need to obfuscate it with, like, this fucking code yeah. and the shit? Yeah, they, they made it, like, like so only Bella would know because no one would her thoughts. But you could still fucking call her. That was bullshit, too, because when they find that page, that letter, and mm -hmm. she turns it over and she sees it's from uh, a Merchant of Venice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like only Bella could have figured this out. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, Bullshit. I, I'm not. I'm not picking her as the intellectual powerhouse here. No, it wouldn't have taken. Change her shield powers. It wouldn't have taken an intellectual powerhouse to figure this out because you're like, oh, this came from the Merchant of Venice. How many copies of the ver like, how many Shakespeare books do we own? Yeah. Maybe they never looked at the bookshelf. I mean, somebody furnished it for them. It's just like a showroom bookshelf. They never look at. The There's. Books. We could go on so many tangents, but we'll get back to them. Okay, but let me let me finish with the stereotype, guys. Okay. These guys dress like they're out of a fucking cartoon. Mm -hmm. Like, seriously, they dress like Apache Chief, these guys. Now, I ask the question, how did they get to Washington? Were they dressed like that? On the plane? Did they take a plane? <laughs> did they get on the plane? Did they took the water like the other girls. <laughs> did, no, did they swim? Did they run? Yeah. Did they run from Brazil through fucking Panama through Mexico, all the way to fucking Washington. If so, I got. Apparently, the I got to know. Theory just walked in real time, which is what took him so long. And, and, yeah. <laughs> and here's the other thing: why why do any of these guys bother to drive? Because they can run faster than cars move. Right. That's a good point. <laughs> Maybe they don't want their hair to get messed up. Because like, because like they do this scene where they're trying to get allies and they're driving through the mountains, and like. I'm like, fucker, you just established these guys can outrun anything. And that they don't get tired. They do, Yeah, they, in fact, there's a scene specifically where, like, Bell and Edward fuck, and they go, we could do this nonstop because we don't breathe and we don't get tired. They say that. Mm -hmm. In fact, they even say, we don't breathe. They have to remind Bella, like, when she's around her father, to breathe, mm -hmm. or at least look like she's That was breathing. hilarious, because I'm sitting there like, as if her father would look at her and be like, wait a minute, I don't see your chest moving. Clearly, <laughs> you're dead. But they, they have to remind her, like, you have to look like you're breathing. But here's the thing. She does have to breathe. Why? Because talking involves breathing. Yeah, you have to inhale yeah. to speak. So if you're talking to your dad, by necessity, you are breathing. Uh, <laughs> and, and if you're talking to your dad, he's not going to think you're dead. Well, that scene is weird. <laughs> They're all weird. 
But there, remember that scene where they're also like they're they're teaching her how to act human. Like she doesn't like, know. She, she's totally forgotten in the course of like three days. Yeah. She forgot. She runs over to a chair. Yeah. But the first thing they say is, "Okay, we gotta keep. We gotta teach you to keep your powers under control. So, we we want you to just walk over to that chair." And she runs over to it like she's the fucking Flash. And yet she doesn't do that at any other point. Yeah. She has no problem sitting down at any other time. Exactly. So she's like, yeah. the, she's like, involuntary runs over the chair like the Flash. And they're like, whoa, slow down there, Kyle. Easy, but easy, the thing is, easy. the thing is, the first thing she does when she wakes up is slowly get up. She slowly stands up. She slowly embraces Edward. They walk out the door. And then she runs out and hunts, but like... She has no problems until that point. She's had no problems... Oh, that fucking running was giving me so much goddamn whiplash, sitting that yeah. fucking close, because whatever happens, I have to quickly move my head. <laughs> yeah. like, so fucking fast to look at the other side of the screen. And some characters are using their running powers to go like 10 feet, and yeah. Jake is sitting there like, God, was that really fucking necessary? It's, it's so disconcerting, and the thing is, they use that so much more than they ever did in any of the other movies. Way more. Way more. At, at least, let me let me not even exaggerate here. 20 times as much? Uh, dude, and again, it, it, it's like, because they, there were characters who were doing that when they were simply only walking about yeah. 10 feet. There like was... if they were walking across a room to get a book yeah. or anything. They were doing that. And like, and it isn't just because, it isn't one of those things like, well, I noticed it this time because I was sitting so close no, to the screen. No, 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 it wasn't. Like, again, Jake is sitting there like, you watch 10 fucking feet, are you that fucking lazy? <laughs> yeah, there's this scene where, like, Alice gets a vision of the future and she's like, ah, and then Harpo, like, teleports over to her. And he's like, are you okay? And I'm like, ah, J why did you do that? Like... Isn't it really unsettling to a woman who's, like, got this splitting headache from a vision to, like, fucking... Uh -huh. the person there. To go, like, Mach 1 <laughs> and stand right next to her? Oh, my God. And, but, yeah, they... I, I... Virtually every, every scene transition, every time they want to go somewhere, they run at warp speed. And it's, it's really... But yeah, they still need to drive cars. Yeah, they still drive cars. But it's 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 really it's it's really annoying after a while because mm -hmm. it's well here's the other thing is because this goes back to the effects the effect is so bad that it's funny because every effect was hilarious yeah when so, the wolf was standing next to the little girl and it looks the size of a skyscraper yeah but I I'm gonna do this for the camera you can't see it but like imagine if you had a budget of twenty bucks. And you had a green <laughs> and you had a green screen. How would you shoot a scene where they're running really fucking fast? You would do this. You would have the like to say this is the green screen, and you'd have the characters doing this. <laughs> like like jogging in place, like they're jogging in place as the background like whips really fast behind them. But it's so obviously they're not running that fast. Um, well, you were mentioning like noticing um all of the uh sets being like sound stages and stuff like that and that like kind of hitting you at every time for the movie for me it was it was the special effects after cgi baby with the creepy ass smile after all of that i kept seeing stuff just wondering like when the little did the little girl who was like seven or ten or however she was yeah. supposed to be did she look weird to you guys too? Did, there were some scenes where she still looked CG. Did they did what did they CGI the kid? I think that's they did. what I was wondering. I'm like, pretty sure they did. There are some scenes where she doesn't look like she's CGI. There's some scenes where the little kid doesn't look like, but there are some scenes where she does. Like in yeah. the, in the scene where they they go to visit like the other uh, vampires who live in the snowy wherever, and uh, she's in the car. She looks. Creepy as fuck. Yeah. That's not a real face. That was not yeah. real face. I, I don't even know why or how they did that. that like, like, I think it was to make it look her look younger, because I'm sure it was Dakota Fanning the whole time, but they had to... No, know. no, no, no. Dakota Fanning oh, was the was You're the right, right. I'm shit. thinking of... Shit. Whatever. 
But like, like well, the only thing we figured, like, is one of the crew members, like, I don't know, like, not allowed to be within certain feet of children, so they have this CGI on the kids? <laughs> I, I don't know what they were going for there, but what I'm what I was getting at with the with the running effect is, you remember at the end, where. Uh, Jacob as a wolf is running away with uh, Renesme. Yeah. Running through the woods real fast. Now, you might have been too close to see this, but there was. This shot was so fucking funny where she's on the wolf and the, the background is like whipping really fast past him and it's like. it's You're like head on with the wolf. It looks so fake. That was awesome. I did, I did notice I'm, that. That I'm, was fantastic. I'm trying to think of what that... It looked like... You remember that scene in Never Ending Story when the kid is, like, clinging on to the dragon? Uh-huh. And he's like, yeah. yeah! And the wind is blowing his hair back, but it's so obviously like he's on a puppet, and, like... <laughs> <laughs> it looked worse than that. Because at least... <laughs> at least the fucking dragon thing was real. Like, there was actually yeah. a tangible thing there. She wasn't obviously on, like, a green saddle mm-hmm. in some studio somewhere. But, like, even she, I think, was, like, CGI in that shot. So, like, everything in that shot was CG. That Every shot... Day. That and shot that was, was so... Huge. It literally time the kid was standing next to the wolf. I'm just picturing in my head like the wolf talking like, I don't take the child. Come with me, lads. And, like, the weird, like, Bambi thing. <laughs> They didn't do wolf speech, which I thought was the funniest part. Of, well, not the funniest part, but the second funniest part of that movie with the, wolf, the wolves talking to each other. I'm the son of a chief. I bow to no one. I bow to no man. But it still had a uh, wolf falling through the crater in slow motion. Yes. And then cutting to the other wolf. Just go, just go. No. No. <laughs> um. Another okay. Okay. So um so somehow they're like the Volturi are coming and I'm like, why aren't they here? Like it literally takes no more than six hours for her to cross the what's take what why are they waiting? What are they biding their time? Yeah, they don't and it's not like they wait a week or a month. They wait like half a year. Yeah, they wait like an entire season. It's, yeah, it goes all the way back to the chair again. Because they're like, and it shows them walking, and they're all walking at normal speed. But when they leave at the end, they run past vampire speed. Yeah, wolf factor four. But somehow they know, and I don't know how they know this. They say like the vulturi will be here when the snow sticks to the land. Remember that? (laughs) And I'm like, I'm like a. Everyone knows what time that is. I'm like a. How do you know that? And b. Why? Yeah, why? Like, is that like their thing? I, you know, it could be their thing. Like, because of course they gotta, they gotta wear those fruity fucking robes. Uh huh. And they gotta, so like maybe that is, they're like, mm, let's dress in our winter clothes and we'll go killing. Yeah, they just don't want to wear the summer robes because yeah, so they don't have any sleeves and they're not as cool. Our black robes are so gauche in the summer. <laughs> no. This fabric will not I, do. I will only wear velvet in the winter. <laughs> I tend to get salt stains on it in the summer. Mm. It keeps me out so warm. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Well. There was a girl. There was a girl who was wearing one of those robes. Huh? Uh, we're, in, we're in line at concessions. The lines were fucking huge. It was packed. Awesome. Uh, so a couple of lines over, there was a girl wearing one of those, and right in front of me and Jake was this woman who looked over at the girl there and and looked over back at us and goes and said like, "Can you believe that girl wearing that robe?" Here's the funny thing: the girl who said the woman who said this to us, yeah, was wearing Bella's contact lenses, the red, the red, the red eyes. <laughs> So this girl with Bella's contact lenses in is just is like people are like, yeah, you believe this girl wearing this robe? <laughs> what? Look at this nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this nerd. Am I right, huh? Come Look on. at this geek. Her robe's not even close. The brooch <laughs> is completely wrong. <laughs> come on. By the way, what was I mean, that? come on, right? What was with those contact lenses? Like, I, I couldn't decide. Like, why were some of them yellow-eyed, and why were some of them red-eyed? From, from what there I heard, were times where Bella's eyes were changing yellow. Yeah, so, like, 
Well, here's the thing. Like, I thought it was when the vampires are, like, feral and, like, when they ate humans and stuff like that, they had red eyes. Mm -hmm. And I thought when um, they didn't, like, if they hunted animals, they had yellow eyes. Mm -hmm. But uh -huh. we, we, see them, we see them put, like, contact lenses into Bella's eyes. So I was like... Yeah. I was like, now, are, do all vampires do that? Like, you know and what why, I mean? Why were her eyes never yellow? Like, they were always red. Like, is she, like, biting people in the slash? Yeah, well, yeah, well, they stopped, they stopped being red after that scene. But uh, I, I just didn't understand it, because, like, why... Is you know, if you, put, if you guys put contact lenses, if you guys put contact lenses, it might help you stick out less. I'm just saying. But if they were going to wear contact lenses, why were they all bright yellow? That is still just as unnatural as the red. I lines. didn't even think. I, I just I didn't even think. Like when Bella puts the contact lenses in, yeah, it's like okay, they're putting contact lenses. When the when the eyes were yellow, I didn't even think of them as being contact lenses. I was like, all right, their eyes are yellow for some reason. But here, yeah, well, the other thing is you can clearly tell some of the actors are really uncomfortable wearing those yellow contact lenses. Yeah, a lot of them look very Ma shot. Like the two, the two Maggie people. Maggie Grace looked like her eyes were just gonna jump out of her head. Yeah, the Brazilian chicks with the face paint, their eyes cool. were their eyes were so wide around it was like they couldn't blink like they were so uncomfortable they were like, oh. like it, it yeah. looked like it hurt i felt bad for him because mm -hmm. it, it, it just looked painful um <laughs> where were we uh oh the i don't remember but anyway so like we were wondering why why the volturi waited oh for, yeah like, why a year to go what them. what the fuck was the hold up especially since they keep getting word, okay? They like they keep finding out like the Cullens are gaining allies, mm -hmm. like they're forming an army against us. What what are they waiting for? Mm -hmm. They're just like it, like they remember the maybe, guy. Maybe their staff was all on vacation. Yeah, like you know when they you know, you know <laughs> when they go when they Mallory go gets back. No shoes. <laughs> you like you remember when they they got that Japanese guy mm -hmm. and they're like release the caustic vapors, Jim. And the guy releases his caustic vapors, and the guy is paralyzed. And he's like, "Now, mm, tell me everything you know about Carlisle." And the guy, he like, he, he grabs the guy's hand, and he's like, "Oh dear, it seems they're gaining allies. He's waiting for you." It's like, why didn't they go like, "Come along, children, we're getting on a plane." Mm -hmm. And then, like, like, I would love, I would pay every cent I have to see them pass airline security. That would be pretty wonderful. Can you see them like dumping all their metal shit in the dish and then cry <laughs> going through the going through the the, the body scan? The body and... now, okay, I sir. Volunteering myself to inspection. No, no, no. I don't want to go through the back scatter. I I am opting for the pat down. <laughs> be gentle with me, officer. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, be gentle. <laughs> oh no. Mm. Oh, you dirty man. <laughs> oh, you know, this is a fantastic movie there. I know. There's a fantastic I, movie in this. I, well, I, I told going you. going from Italy to Washington. I told you that, you remember when I pitched that show idea to you? Called, and that was great. I, I so want to do it where I, I wish I had enough, like, know-how to make a set for this. 